over a week to make this video. My when this incident God. first happened, I was obviously shaken up a bit, and I was also really angry. The police told me not to look at the scene when we left, but I didn't listen. I looked anyway. Obviously, I believed the police when they told me that he was dead, but I looked in a, a vengeful way, out of spite almost. Because truthfully, I was angry. I was angry at what I felt was a monster. Okay, all right, listen, I'm not trying to... So you hit by a woman and then got it angry once the police was there and then the situation was handled and he was like, ah, why I ought to sit your ass down is what you ought to do. And go to a therapist instead of going in onto live streams and debating people about this. All right, like go, go see a professional if, if like this is the route that you want to go. Um, talk to them about your emotions, right? who attacked me, hurt Holly, and definitely scarred us both. I kept going back and forth between being really angry and then just being on the water zone. I feel very angry and a vengeful satisfaction that he was dead. But then other times I feel fine and kind of surprised. Like, why don't I feel more shaken up by this whole thing? I was mostly feeling anger or vengeance, but this also soon changed. During this past week, when I've been taking some time off, I went back to... I don't know how you feel. Vengeance. Right? I don't know how. That was after the fact? Okay. Holly's home in Washington to help her move. Given the circumstances, she no longer wanted to remain in the same... So this happened at your house. Right? This happened at your... How did he get the information? That's what's not adding up, and you have not explained that yet, of how he found... Your apartment. How did he get the address to your apartment? You not explaining that, bro. You ain't explaining that. You said y'all removed the tags before you got back to the house, right? And she shared with her now deceased ex boyfriend. Being inside Holly's apartment and seeing some of Conrad's things that he. Oh uh, yeah, they still the, they still together, right? Even though she doing videos about how much she missed Conrad, really helped me to start humanizing this person a lot more. I started to see him as less and less like of a what? monster and more and more like a really broken person. And that experience was really weird. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is a guy who watched my debates. He liked my videos. He liked video games. I'm, ch I'm trying not to laugh. I swear I'm trying not to laugh. So yeah, now I can understand him. He, he liked my videos. Word. Word. That, that's all it took? Because he liked your videos? He liked the videos? That's, that's what made him that new hot fire? Okay. Well, that only proves one thing that I've been saying for a long time. Yo fans is crazy. Games. He likes streaming. I started to feel a lot less angry at him and more just He was a streamer too? Oh no. What was his what was his stream? What was it? What's his what was his channel? This is this whole situation happens between streamers? Oh my gosh. That makes this even more intense, bro. Really sad for Wow. Me. I feel like me and this guy could have been friends had the circumstances been different. Conrad also struggled with his fair share of mental health issues, as you can imagine. I've also had my... Not a doctor, but I was just going to say you too. You trying to be friends with this nigga? Are you crazy? I don't want to be friends with nobody that did that. Like, at all. Like, that sounds crazy. My fair share of what? mental health struggles, but I've never been in a place so dark that I'd even consider doing what. Yeah, they chill with him now. Right? That's the, the, the chat. <laughs> Chad's asking me. So they, they chill with Kyle right now? Yeah. They think he, he the coolest. Now he, he the man. Right? They think he wonderful. They damn near think he magical in this bitch. Ain't that some? <laughs> ain't that so much? They think he magical in his. After I, you know, went to the apartment and seen that he was a fan and watched my videos, I thought he ain't that bad. Nigga, what? Okay, he did. Honestly, I have a lot of empathy for this person now because 
this just makes me realize how broken inside he must have been and how bad he must have been feeling to actually plot something like this and then carry it out. It's apparent now that Conrad's suicide was also planned. The day of the attack, when Holly and I still believe Conrad was at a friend's house in his home state. This video is for educational purposes, by the way. Well, on the bright side, I go home today, no matter what. What? Home. Oh, I got home today, no matter what. He told Holly he was excited to, quote, go home today. What sounded like a normal text message explaining his excitement to return home from a friend's house. Why was she still talking to this nigga? Like, that doesn't make no sense. Especially after he made the threats. Yeah, so that this is after he made the threats already towards you. Why is she still talking to him? Suddenly became an eerie premonition after his attempted murder and his suicide. This whole ordeal has taught me a lot. This story has a lot of layers. It taught me more about domestic violence. I have to believe out a lot it of these me words. That being in an abusive relationship and more specifically, leaving one is so much more dangerous than simply walking out the door. It also reveals issues with men and their mental health and men's mindset. Conrad couldn't bring himself to let Holly go. She loved him and cared for him for so long, and all she wanted in return was for him to love her as a best friend. But unfortunately, he just could not let that happen. He told Holly that he couldn't live without her in some of his final messages. Building your entire identity on another person can only end badly. And in this case... You don't really believe that. You built your whole identity off of Vosh. You know, the brown nose and you doing that, you kind of imitate destiny too as well. But mostly Vosh. Mostly Vosh. That's who you copy. That's your dad. -da. Right? That's, that's who you trying to be like. It ended worse than I think any of us could have ever imagined. It also seriously breaks my heart to know that Conrad had reached out to multiple different therapies prior to this ordeal. And none of them to therapies got back to him in time. To therapists. Men oftentimes do not have healthy outlets for their emotions, and they don't always open up to their friends if they even have any friends. So many times men feel alone in this world with their own thoughts and emotions. Is he about to come out here with a, a red pill endorsement? Sounds like a few mind games going on. I agree. I definitely agree. And he has yet to explain how the hell did he know the exact location of your apartment if y'all removed the tags before you got to the apartment. All right. Chains. And it's tragic that sometimes that results in atrocities. This experience has also solidified my stance on guns. I am not anti-gun. I've never been anti-gun. I'm pro-gun ownership. And I absolutely do wish that I had a gun when this... I was going to say, that where's your blammy? We've seen videos with you with the blammy. Where's the blammy? <laughs> where's the... Where, what happened to the blammy? No, I mean, it's crazy that I'm calling it that. That's the safest thing to call it on YouTube. But where, where, what happened to it? Situation happened. I didn't own a gun mostly because I have kids and I genuinely never really felt the need to go and get one. It wasn't like some principled stance or some like fear. You had one. You've had multiple. Did you get rid of them? He acting like we don't got footage and photos of him with the blammy. Looking like he about to go zombie hunting. Where was this? A gun thing. I, I genuinely just never thought about going and getting a gun. Regardless, that has definitely changed now, and I will be looking into owning a firearm forward. I yeah, so who needs a blaming when you got a girlfriend? That, that's crazy. That is, that is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I want people to have the ability to protect themselves, and this stance of mine has never changed. What I don't want is for people like Conrad to have the ability to acquire guns so easily. He allegedly got the shotgun he used to try to kill me from a gun store in West Virginia, and despite only having That's a temporary crazy. ID with no photo, he was still given a gun. This is absolutely unacceptable. Law-abiding citizens can own guns, and if the Yo, that is a fast-ass process right there. What was the state that he say that? Law-abiding citizens, then they'll be able to pass a background check and a waiting period. 
So in closing, despite the nasty rumors online, Holly showed remarkable bravery. We both acted quickly and strategically despite being terrified. And it's because of... Now you, you, you ran like a biatch. That's what happened. You, you ran. And she jumped into action for some weird reason. Our actions that were both Over you. alive. I am so grateful that Holly thought as quickly as she did. And I'm thankful that we both operated as a team when it came to watching the entry points and getting to the best <laughs> possible location. I'm also really thankful that Holly didn't suffer. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga ran and said, we worked as a team. <laughs> what? Y'all not no team. Team of what? Team. Or severe injuries. The shrapnel get out and of ricochet here. could have been deadly. Although the injuries weren't life threatening, Holly still has medical it's bills crazy. and other expenses due to this situation, uprooting so much of her life. She currently has a GoFundMe and it's linked below. So if you'd like to support and donate to her. And there it is. And there and there it is. He's trying. That's what he want. Right there. Huh? I, t I told y'all before we even started watching the video. Before we even started watching the video. Oh, let me pull it up. Let me pull up, let me pull up this picture. Right? There's him right there. Right there. That's him. That's why he did the thumbnail like that. That's why he titled it where he titled it. He's nasty. Man's nasty as hell. The griff goes on. You know, he's, he's a clown. As far as I'm concerned, I do hope that they find peace however they find peace. Um, but as far as everything else, I do think that they're grifting now, especially at this point. But tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BX Beast Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. I'm trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancer culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.